Hello and welcome. I am Raghav, and today in this session, we are going to learn about test suite. This is going to be very easy and very interesting, and I will go very basic, start from scratch, and we will go up step by step. So, we will learn what is test suite. We will also learn how to create the test suite and its features and how do we execute it. And then we will also study about test suite collections. So, let's get started with test suite. In Catalon Studio, a test suite is a collection of test cases. So if I go to my Catalon Studio here, you can see this is my project and in the last session we also created some tests here. So these are test cases. These are individual test cases. Now if we create a group of test cases, we can call it as test suite. Okay. And here let us see the see a demo how do we create it. So let's first create a test suite. So if you go here to file and go to new here you will get a option to create a test suite so if i go here you can see an option is here test suite or you can directly go to the test suite folder which you will find here in your test explorer i can do a right click here and say new and i will create a test suite so you can see we can also create folders and then create test suites inside the folders for easy categorizing or organizing based on your needs or or you can directly create a test suite inside this under this folder we also have dynamic test suite and test suite collections which i will explain you in a moment but first let us see test suite so i will click this and here you can name anything given name to your test suite i will say this is test suite demo one description is optional and click on ok so this will create a test suite here okay now we will add test cases to our test suite so here you can see we have these buttons here add delete move up move down these buttons can be used to add and then uh, add or delete and move up or down the test cases so when i click on add it will show us all the test cases which are available in this project so as of now we have three test cases so let's say i add the first one and the third one you can add any of your test cases also we have this option here hide test cases already added to test suite so that means if you are updating an existing test suite and some test cases are already added and you don't want to see them here in this list you can check this option okay then we have option to say okay or add and continue if i say add and continue so you can see here it will add the test cases that you have selected and still it will show you this window if you want to add or more or if you want to check and check the others so i'll just say okay now so that it will add these test cases and you can see it has added these two tests again because i had again uh, added these two test cases so let me just delete these duplicate tests first okay and now these are added okay now you can also see here the columns so here it shows the serial number and then the test case name or the id if you have any description given to your test cases it will show here now this percent flakiness latest runs average duration all this will be updated when you start running your test suite okay and then at the end we have a column called run and with check boxes so sometimes you have added your test cases and maybe in particular run you don't want to run some of the test cases you can uncheck them from here okay now we have added our test cases to our test suites now we will check the execution section which you can see at the top here so if you expand this execution information here we have some more settings we have implicit timeout so do you want to use the project default timeout or define your own timeout here so you can define your timeout in seconds or use default use default will go and refer your project settings timeout so if you go to project and go to your settings okay here you can find the execution section and here you can see the timeouts so you can see default for element timeout in seconds and if you expand this and go to web ui you can see all these timeouts okay so if you want to use the default one which is 30 seconds you can just do this or you can define your own then we have retry failed executions immediately so let's say in your 
test suite when you are running your test suite some of the test case fail let's say a test case fails do you want to retry it immediately like it fails and you want to retry it and also the number of times you want to retry you can mention it here and otherwise if you want that if a test fails we should continue with the next test and then after executing all the tests in the test suite then we can start retrying the failed tests okay and here again you can set the count how many times you want to retry and then we also have option if you want to retry all executions or only the failed ones okay the reason we have this option retry all executions is because maybe there may be some dependency between tests and only if all the tests are executed then only it should it will run fine if there is that kind of a dependency between the tests you can say retry all executions if there is any failure it will retry everything again otherwise if the tests are independent you can just say retry only the failed executions okay so this is something you can check here if you want to as of now i can just leave it blank or make it zero so if i if you don't want to retry then we also have option to set the email recipients so after the execution if you want to send notification to any of the team members or stakeholders you can mention the email here okay and then you will also have to do the setup of email from project settings so project settings and you will find email so if you want to send the email you can do the setup of email from here okay and then we have options to view run history if you want to see the run has history data binding we will learn when we go to the data driven testing section uh, so we will leave that this for that topic so this you can do is check after you have run and you can check the run history okay so i can collapse the execution information now and make sure after you have added all the tests and done the setting save your project okay so we have done all these steps now we will save and run so now to run we just use this run option here and then you can select the browser and it will run all your tests that you have checked here and which are available in this test suite okay so this is starting the execution and it is opening the browser and let's see so this is running our first test okay so this is done so you can see the first test is done and now it is starting the second test case that we have added to our test suite and this is also done and you can now see so we can always check the logs as we see the logs for individual test cases in the same way we can see the logs here in a tree view or this view you can check all the logs and then you will also find there is a result section here okay so if you click on this result here you can see the result of your test suite and your individual test cases so you can see this passed this also passed now if you want to uh, filter out you can filter using these filters if you want to see only passed only failed error incomplete skipped etc also if you want to check the execution details like summary and the environment etc you can see this here so you can see here we have got uh, summary where you can see the test suite id host name catalon version start time end time operating system browser version all these are here and then the count of test cases pass failed etc time taken everything is here in the execution settings you can see all the settings catalon settings and environment settings are here so you can see the timeout action delay all this is here and then the execution environment where you can see your operating system catalon version browser version host etc platform everything is here okay now after this for individual test cases you can select the test that you want to check okay and then click on this show test case details so when you click here you can see for that particular test all the steps along with its uh, status pass failed and then you can click on any of the step and then also you can see more details on that step and then the time and again we have all these filters as well here okay all this is here and you can select the next test and you can see all the detailed information
okay so this is how you can create a test suite add your test cases do the settings execution settings and then save and run okay and this will be very useful because now uh, you can add your test cases in the way you want also in a test suite you can add the test cases multiple times so even if you want to run your test case multiple times you can add it multiple times here and if, if you want to run with some separate uh, environment let's say a QA environment a regression environment etc that also can be done this we will learn later when we come to profiles but for now you can see this is how you set up a test suite and run a test suite okay now let us go to test suite collections and here again we will see what is a test suite collection how to create and run a test suite collection and its features so test suite collection as the name suggests is a collection of test suites so when we talked about test suites it was a collection of test cases and a collection of test suites is called a test suite collection okay so let's see how to do how to create it and let's see a demo so again test suite collection will be created inside test suites folder only you can see it will be created here again we have option to go from file new and you will see an option here to create a test suite collection you can do it from here or i can just go to my test suites folder in the test explorer do a right click new and create a test suite collection okay and here i can name it anything i will say this is test suite collection demo one description and tags are optional and i will say okay and now here again we have these buttons to add remove move up move down etc so i will click on add and here it will show us all the test suites which are present in this project so you can check or select the test suites that you want to add and say ok and again here you can add multiple times let's say i want to add this test suite multiple times and then there is an option to run it with different browser so let's say i want to run this test suite once with a chrome browser and the next time i just want to run with a different browser so i will go here double click on the browser and you can now select a different browser as well okay so you can do that then uh, run configuration this will be for devices and when you we do mobile testing so it's not required here then we have the profile again this profile section we can use to run our test suites on different environments and this we will learn when we come to profile so as of now i will keep it default and then again the check boxes to run or to not run our particular test suite so for now i am just want to run it once so i will uncheck this second option or the duplicate test suite and again now go to the execution information section and here we have option to run in sequential or parallel so this is very uh, useful suppose you have multiple test suites added to this test suite collection and you want to run them in parallel to save time you can do that and also you can then select how many max concurrent instances so let's say i want to uh, run let's say four browsers in parallel so you can set it here and then we can also set the delay between the instances so it is like how many threads you want to run at a time in parallel and then what should be the delay and this will also depend on your systems configuration if it can handle that particular parallel runs or not so that also it depends there but otherwise you have the option here otherwise if you want to run sequentially it will run one by one all these test suites which are added in this collection okay and make sure that you save after doing all the setup so we have done step number one we have seen this how do we add a test suite collection then we have added the test suites to the collection we have done this as well we have also updated the execution information section and now we will save and run so we have saved and to run we don't use this button you can also see it is grayed out it is disabled we use this execute button to run we can also schedule it on catalon desktops so for now i'll just run it locally from here so i will click on execute so it will start the execution so it will now run the test suite and the test suite has two test cases so it is now running the first test case
and once this is done it should run the second test case of the test suite okay this is done and now it is starting the second one okay so this is all done and again the logs you can check here logs will be same as we have seen uh, for test cases or test suites so you can see and here you can see all this has come here and it has also generated these reports okay we will see the reports in a moment and here you can see this is all done uh, you will see a results section here so here you can see the results it will show for the test suite it will show the final result it is uh, for this this test suite and you will have to click on show details here it will show the high level information like the environment profile status failed etc and when i click on show details it will give the details like this and this is exactly same as we have seen the result for test suite so you can see all the test cases here pass fail status summary execution uh, execution settings execution environment and then if you click on any test case and go to show test case details you can see the details of that particular test case and all the steps and when you click on any step you can also see the detail of the steps here okay then after executing a test suite or a test suite collection if you want you can check the reports in the reports tab here so you can see there's a reports tab and you can see the reports now reports come only for test suite or test suite collection execution not for individual test cases so if you run our individual test case from here like this any individual test case you can see the logs but the reports will not get generated also when you run from command line you can run test suite or test suite collections and not individual test cases so if you want even if you want to run an individual test case and want to see a report and also want to run from command line you will have to add that single test case to a test suite and then you can run it okay we will have a separate session for logs and reports and there we will uh, learn it in detail but here this is what it is so you can see reports so you can see the reports for all this this was for our test suite demo one and then this is for test suite collection that we ran okay and then again this ran this test suite demo one so the, you can see all these reports here okay then you can do a right click and say open containing folder for reports and when you go here you will find so let me go to the reports folder and you can check this folder so here you will find all these reports you will find html reports and all these j unit reports json etc csv report as well uh, let me go to here i will say view uh here let me see here i want to see the extension so i will go to view and show and file name extensions so that i know this is the html report so i can try to open it with a browser let's say i will use chrome browser and you can see details like this as well so you can also expand you can see the high level overview summary and then details of each test case and each test step everything is here okay then again uh, csv is also here so it, if i try to open this we will we need some app like word or kingsoft office or something so as of now i'm not opening it then you can see xml uh, report is also here okay and these reports if you want to configure you can go to your project settings and you will see here report and here you can configure these reports okay so this is how we can create and run a test suite collection the run configuration uh, i have already told you that this is for uh, selecting some particular mobile device android environment etc so this is it is talking about uh, let me show you go back and this run configuration so if you are running doing a mobile testing you want to set up a device or set the selected environment for android etc you can do that so this is how we use test suite collection so this is how we create and run test suites and test suite collection i hope this was useful i will see you in the next session thank you for watching and never stop learning